Hi, welcome back to the second part of our taping. So we said that the Torah insists that those who shame others through evil speech are to be ostracized, cut off from the community, denied access to the holy until they have undertaken restorative teshuva. Now I have a great quote without a firm origin. The quote is, words create worlds. Words create worlds. Some say Heschel said it. Some say Wittgenstein. We don't know. It's a fine quote. Words create worlds. The quote rings true. God spoke, let there be light. Words create worlds. And there was light. Words create worlds. Proverbs teaches that Death and life are within the power of the tongue. Isn't it great? Death and life are within the power of the tongue. Words create, words destroy. Words are poison darts. Words are calming sources of strength and of self-worth. Words can bridge differences and words can drive us apart. Words are cheap, and words are as precious as diamonds. Was Lashon Hara, evil speech, gossip, what the authors of Leviticus had in mind when speaking of sins that drive God out of our midst? I don't know, and I think I doubt it. But that's just the kind of question those of us who engage in conversation with the Torah text have to answer for ourselves. What were the sins so egregious that the sinner had the power to drive God out of the sanctuary? Have a wonderful Shabbat Hagadol. And have a Zisan Pesach, a sweet Passover. We'll be together, as usual, next week. And, my friends, as Pesach approaches, watch out for Lashon Hara. Shabbat Shalom and an early Chag Sameach.